Hello, I'm here to present my program for comparing two DBC CAN files. These files are used in automotive industry to define the messages that are transmitted over the canvas and signals that make up those messages. So it's very useful for us to have the right tools and options to compare two different files or two versions of the same file. I think that this program can make this job much easier because can DBC files can be compared as regular text files, but then we are coming up to some problems. So in this uh, example, I would show you first the problems that uh, comparing two DBC can files can cause, and then I would like to present my solution to this. So in this example, I would use two open source uh, source Volvo uh, DBC files. Uh, I have two versions of this file where I introduced some some small changes. So first thing first, I would like to compare these two files with simple text uh, file comparison like meld or whatever so file to compare add first and add second add click on compare so uh, we can see now here we have version 1 and version 2 and what are the differences that I introduced so in uh, version 1 I removed completely this message from where with uh, steer angle uh, signal inside. So we don't have anything here. The other stuff, I basically just uh, remove, uh, change a couple of bits here. So first modification was in version two file where I changed this uh, sixth uh, from eight to six. And the other one is in the version one where uh, this signal has only length of one byte. And that's pretty much it. So, you can see, we can clearly see now what are differences in this file. But, for example, if we do something like this, so if we just cut uh, this message from here and simply place it at the top and save that file, we now basically see uh, the, the, the result as we have added this uh, whole message here. And here, this is the same message, but the simple text comparison will not uh, not catch uh, this. Uh, and this creates uh, a major problem for us if we are comparing uh, to DBC, can DBC files like this, because these messages can sometimes change its place, especially if these files are auto-generated. So. The, the the point of my program is not to compare these two files as uh, plain text files, but to compare the logic behind it. So basically to filter uh, over the uh, the messages that are uh, located in version one of the file and search it in the in the other version. So if we now just save both files, so these are now our changes. So we have one additional message in version 2 we have uh, two modifications inside uh, signals inside the messages and we have swap places for this dial global request and let's see uh, will 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 my program detect this uh, program is written in python and currently hosted on uh, gamma road so i will show you basically how you can get it you will basically have something like this and program is packed only into one exe file if you just download that file and save it you will basically have everything what you need so from this we have everything so now just simply double click on this exe file of course more info run anyway and now you have a simple can dbc uh, compare tool so first let's uh, load file to the left let's choose version 1 and now we have our version 1 of the file loaded in you can play around with this so scroll up and down and you can see uh, messages and signals inside the select message now let's add the file to the right let's add version 2 and the same thing we can scroll scroll up and down and go over the messages and 
corresponding signals. If we would like now to compare these two files, simply go to the file and select compare. And that's pretty much it. So if we scroll uh, up to the both uh, lists here, we can see that everything is the same. We can see here that uh, tag uh, global request signal is uh, painted with a blue, uh, blue color. That means that the signal is found. So we have a good comparison here. If we scroll a bit, a bit down on this side, we can see that a message uh, from where, which is not present in the version one of the file is highlighted with red in the version 2 of our file. So we know that this message does not exist in the in the version that is loaded on the left side. The other two things are basically here. So if we selected the same message here with the ID of uh, 764, we can see that uh, exactly the signal that is not not the same is highlighted and with this highlight we can see that clearly that length of this signal this byte 4 is changed from 8 to 6 again for the next uh, next message we see the same thing we can see that uh, length of uh, signal byte 3 is changed from 1 to 8 and especially with the large dbc files we don't have the trouble of wrongly detecting the changes in some files especially if the files are auto generated and for example that messages or signals inside the message can swap places but let's check that part as well let's close this Let's open our melt and let's do something like this. Let's uh, switch places of uh, of sub signals inside the message. So let's use, uh, for example, this. Uh, let's find this is some signal with the names. Okay, and let's these signals and place it to the top. So essentially, this message is this message is the same only definition is different but for embedded work we don't care about this we only care that the fra uh, that the physical frame of this uh, can message is the same and with this definition and this definition it will be so i don't want to count this as a change inside my file and let's try it now to compare it so that that message should be fsm2 so open compare file Add to the left, add to the right, and let's go to the files, compare. Let's search signal FSM2, let's search signal FSM2, and everything is, is found exactly as it should be. So, because this program is looking for a signal name, and checking is that signal name present in the other version of the file, and basically compa comparing all the attributes of that signal. So with this program, we don't have a problem as in melt, basically this should not be detected as, as, as the functional change. And that's basically it. Very simple, uh, very simple program that was built in uh, Python with just some short about page and that's it i think with this program you can uh, speed up a bit your uh, embedded uh, workflow when you need to compare uh, two versions of the same candyb file and easily check for functional changes inside each message uh, functional changes will be highlighted for you so with red that's uh, that means that something is not present into in other uh, files so if we notice some red message from uh, on the left side that means in a newer version of that file that message is completely removed with this we know that this message from where is actually added into this version 2 of our file modified uh, stuff will be highlighted with with 
yellow color and everything else in the blue means that we don't have any changes in that uh, message or signal. And that's all for now. And if you think this program is useful, please go to the, my Gumroad store and try it, try it yourself. Also, I will place the discount code in the comments below and see you in the next one. Take care.